watching N1 Mixtape Volume 10. Volume 10. The United Streets of America. Let's go! We can bring it to you. Hand tape. Celebrating that dime by going back to our roots. We're taking it back to the streets. Streets. Where it all began. Houston. NYC. Philly. Indy. LA. We went across the water to Puerto Rico. In my hometown, DC. Capital punishment, baby. Getting back to the heart and soul of the game. The greatest games that have ever been played, streetball has been played outside. The energy in the outside game here is like no other. The crowd is just a part of the game. Everybody's on top of you, man. The people talking smack. Yelling your name out. Sash and dumping somebody. Every move, they storm in the court. You gotta be rough, you gotta be tough. Down and barrier, getting grimy, scratching up your elbows and your knees. Ticky tack little calls, they let that go. It's much more of a battle. You know what I'm saying? I want to go out there and destroy my opponent. I mean, destroy my opponent. That's the best feeling going to somebody else's house and to take what they got. For anybody that gets us. We own the streets. We are the streets. Anytime, any day, anywhere. It don't matter who you are. We'll come to play, win, lose, or draw. This is what it is. You can get your name in the gym, but you don't get your fame outside. And one, and one, and one, and one, and one. This is the United Streets of America. You got to take now. What you going to do with it, sucker? Now, are you ready, Ghost, for Team N1? Let's go, baby. Hell yeah, I'm pulling my thing out. Professor, Professor, the assassin. I'm assassinating. Four beef and guess what? My 914. I'm on like a rebel cut through. I'm taking this on corner to creep through. Master my own style, call the show with gun do. I'm lethal like a head on bundle. Yeah, the beat rock from P Rock, the flow from the ghost from B Block. Four pounds send you to Esau. In other words, Jesus hey! Christ, where my shit stick together like beans and rice. And All I need is this nice Move. smoke and run. Baby, oh, 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 baby, baby, no baby, I'm too strong. I'm too strong. In the motherfucking street, hang on the back one. Go ahead, get the fuck out of here. Baby, 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 Raised in the ghetto, singing songs for survival. Late night, bad oh, hour, rolling out the Bible. Now I'm now on the floor. Yeah. Heavy corner store, got a n with the wall. Just break your floor.
like the 99 Quattro, blue like the lotto. Touch plenty models, Chris out the bottle. The like fast cars, my foot on the throttle. Like big, I feel those ones. Call me one beef, I got that the man. Duply just like us, put it in. If I do back, your chick can take the easy route. Switch the lock in the door, take the bank account. She was just sucking the door, but they ain't really count. Bounce, how we doing with things? Go see another chick with a chick in the whip, huh? The same thing that I said, son, do what he wanna do when he got big bread. The king size bed, yeah, it's fitting the mall. My, you ain't with it, then I'm missing your call. Start tripping, how we whipping. Got my eyes on all this paper. Leave your mommy, cause that body. Oh my god, I wanna thank her. Don't get it twisted, I'm not your captain. Oh girl, I'm not trying to save you. Heavy weight up, about my paper. I'll upgrade ya, something major. I'm the boss. Oh. As I come through the door, throw valley the keys to the 07 is all. That's one of my Zodic whips. Now peep my Zodic chick. Take a look at her, look at her. Better see it through a wool sweater. Don't hate on me, she do better. Who better? She pick me. MVP, VIP, you just lose better. But I ain't worried about losing. Big guy cruising, no, you can't cool me. Or worry about me, who I'm doing. Paparazzi watching the kid in my movement. Trying to get their hands on the sex tape, then Why they want to get their hands on the sex tape? I know why they want to get to the sex tape And that'd be the day that they been break Start tripping, how we whipping Got my eyes on all this paper Leave your mommy, cause that body Oh my God, I wanna thank her Don't get it twisted, I'm not your captain Oh girl, I'm not trying to save you Every way up, on my paper I'll upgrade you, something major I'm the boss Volume one, that's the granddaddy of it all. That's what let the rest of America know what we have been practicing every summer in New York City. It's a lot of names, a lot of legends that was on that DVD. Mainly Skip, though. Skip to my loo. Ray for Austin, AKA Skip to my loo, is the greatest playground player, the greatest street ball legend, Ever. There was a void where one era ends and another era is ushered in. He was the link of continuing the prominence of New York City street basketball. First time I saw Skip, man, it was unbelievable. He looked pretty young. And I was like, man, the young guy looked like he getting at him. You know, look like he's doing his thing. Look like he could play. When I saw Skip, I was just amazed. Like, damn. I mean, he's, he's young and he out there doing it to those people. I've known him since we were kids. When we was all too young to play, Skip was the only dude our age that could get on the court at that point. I knew like, yo, this dude is the best player everywhere we go at 14. Man, he got a different style, man. He can pass his ass off. You know, he's skipping down the court and, and doing pistol peep fakes with a ball. Faked the pass, but he kept the dribble with the ball. Touched Buddy head and switched it off. I was trying out for like four months. Especially down south, nobody really seen the type of moves and stuff he was doing. They was playing street ball other places, but they wasn't doing tricks. People other places was like, wow, this is crazy. You know, what is this? Like, people people didn't know what it was. I was just taking like, dang. He brought flair, he brought style, he brought pizzazz, he brought that. Wow, what did he do? You know, rewind that. He was so great that he could play that way and still get the job done. And people understand, Skip wasn't losing games. You know what I mean? When he was doing all these things, he was winning games. They was winning championships. They was winning. I idolized that back in the day when I first saw the volume one. It made me, you know, want to do a little something to embarrass somebody. Got me in a lot of trouble. Had me, you know, in Louisville practices throwing, you know, crazy passes and, and you know, Danny Crumb like, hold on son, that's not what we do here. It inspired me to take my game to the next level and really get down like that. It was an eye popping tape, you know what I'm saying? It opened everybody's eyes. Like, man, this is our music, this is what we do. Like, that first tape was like a cultural revolution. You know, there's guys out here that has talent that are not in the NBA or overseas and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? They out here on every street, you know, on every park, but don't have a way to display it to the rest of the world. Skip just let them know that it's more than just the NBA and college. He created a genre, you know what I'm saying? Guys are taking care of their families, 
Guys are paying their bills. Guys are filling up NBA arenas simply because of what he did. He made an outlet for, you know, for guys like me and guys like, you know, all over the world, all over the country. Skip Tamalu is an one. He made an one what it is, and he's that guy. Big up to Skip, for real. We're on our way to the best crash the court ever, Washington, D.C., Murray Palms. Showtime. D.C., Pentagon, White House. Disaster. Well, they throw a reason. You can be at the White House, turn the corner, you in the hood. Like, now you joking. I see it myself, man. Yeah, the White House in the hood. Berry Falls, Washington, D.C., the hood. We're going to do what we do. We got horses in the hood. We got to take a picture of that. This is called Pitch. Seven points get you the cane. Let the shot court right here. Let the shot court. We out here in Washington, D.C. Your boy assassin. I don't belong out here in D.C. I'm the assassin. Well, they looking for me, though. That's all I got to say. Hey, you you talking too early. You can't just steal my shot. Hello, hello. Down the game. Live on the BF Power Bill. Very fast, funky DC. Where I was what? Move on. Hey, let's go. Serious over here, man. You know what it is, man. Pick it up. Full court. Let's attack the basket. Let's bust that ass. One on three. One, two, three. And one. Get it on. Time is money, home. First half, 
Hopefully we'll be able to uh, pick up the intensity, man, and close this game out. One, two, three, same shit. Mixtape 2 came out. I was like kind of curious with all these tapes. You bought some shoes, you got the mixtape. You know, that's how it was back in the day. I like that volume a lot. It seemed like everybody was up on their game. In New Jersey at main events, he put together a game. I had heard about it. You had all the elements that go into a street ball game. Women music, and great basketball. When I seen it, people all over the fences, people was just jumping over each other just to watch. Probably about 5,000 people out there hanging on the gates and the fences and stuff. Nobody had never seen nothing really like that besides back in the old record days, you know? That was when it was like, yo, now, and one is doing their own thing. Like, they actually organizing games to get footage. Guys out there having a lot of fun, you know, playing a game, you know, the way it's supposed to be played. You know, no holes barred. Yeah, Headache came out with um, volume two. He did his thing. I saw headaches slap people in the face. I just thought it was funny. Introducing, I'll be right back. Future. You have Maine and Shane doing their thing. 
I was like, man, who is this Batman and Robin combo, man, this connect? You could tell they play together, they knew each other's game. Man came, jumped over Shane. I was like, man, this, these guys crazy, man. A bounce pass from half court to uh, main event when it said uh, one giant step. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Boom! Main event came out of nowhere. To, to be a dunker and to catch an alley-oop from half court and dunk, that's like, that was something not seen. Wally jumping over the motorcycle. That was the grandfather of people jumping over people. It was really started with the motorcycles. It was just something exciting, especially for me as a dunker. I noticed like more of my friends have been watching the tapes and people I knew, and it was just getting bigger. That whole atmosphere, everybody loved it. The, the crowds, the moves, the dunks. I mean, if you can get this many people outside, during the game, you, you can do the next city like that, next state. For me, it started to just make me think that, you know, this the thing where Al Wan is starting to grow now. You know, they was on to something, something big. Cheer, dip set. You got to start the summer off right, man. Get in tune with us, nigga. Yeah, 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 the Al Wan game, 2007. I'm back with it. with it, I'm that vivid. vivid, and past sick is ridiculous, that's bad business, uh -huh. I'm half twisted. twisted, half sickness, rap's ticket, I live it, you get it, you cats bitch it, got me all the chance, as I try and think, lay back in the act with the Pirelli Prince, front when I'm near, stunt on a lid, on some fast, they only ship a hundred, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can front, wait, wait, those are crumb cakes, nigga, my trunk's face, uh -huh. something like trunk's uh -huh. face, way I pull up, and look Here like I'm from space, dumb face, blown purple haze to my lungs. Hey, Who got it here? We don't play that. We don't play that. Porque me gusta me da por cantidad, mi cruz de mi diploma, no te mi tapa, no me tuvo a la 
Volume 3 is definitely, definitely one of my favorites. You know, it was like the introduction of Sauce and, you know, AO. And one gave me a call to come out there and play in uh, Cali for the very first game. Nobody knew who I was. It was just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like one of the open run dudes at the time. They called my name. I just had to go out there and do my thing. And when I did my thing, people were going crazy for me. Sauce changed the game completely as far as dribbling, passing, like all that was there before, but he just added a little bit more flavor to a little bit more high sauce. Nobody got the ball like sauce. It's like it's attached to his hand. He got 101 moves that he could bring out any day, any time, that no one could guard. You know, so I was getting a couple of calls. People was like, oh, the tape's gonna be nice, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna wake a lot of people up. I was kind of nervous, you know what I'm saying? You know, when the tape came out, we were waiting for the action, you know what I'm saying? Everybody coming there, they got to buy their apparel before they get the tape. I mean, I walked in, you know what I'm saying? There's a regular dude. We had a little uh, ladies' man afro. Guess how I was walking out the store? I walked out the store like Jordan. Just like Jordan. Yo, what up? What up, baby? Uh -huh. Everybody knew who I was after that, you know what I'm saying? People who started to see Sauce doing a lot of crazy things and naming his moves and stuff like that, boom, it was like, you know what I'm saying? It was like a bomb, you know what I'm saying? Once it hit, it was a wrap. Best highlight on Mistake 3 that I liked was when I did the little shuffle, the little Flintstone shuffle, ran and Buddy fell and I did the little shimmy. Ran this way and the guy went all that whole way and the whole lane just opened up for him. That one right there I remember, I remember vividly. And then they ended it with the boomerang. Oh yeah, the boomerang, that was crazy right there, you know what I'm saying? I knew that was gonna be, you know what I'm saying, one of the moves that a lot of people's gonna be trying to copy and, you know, trying to do. So I spent seven years on the road with Sauce. Well, he's in front of a mirror five hours a day, dribbling. You, you trying to sleep in your hotel room, you hear a ball bouncing three in the morning, you look in the hall, Sauce is working on moves in the hallway. This hotel's we've been thrown out of. Sauce. Working on my handles right now, you know what I'm saying? Gotta stay on point. Sauce, you got too much time on your hands. Put the basketball down sometimes. Enjoy life. There's so many street ballers they hit me up and are like exact replicas of hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? I have the do-rag, 
big t-shirt, you know, and, and be trying to do boomerangs and, and whatnot. Like he, he really changed the game and kind of revolutionized it and, and created like a cult following of just, just himself alone. I think AO brought an aspect of you don't have to be a guy out there rolling around on the ground and stuff like that. You know, he brought real basketball. He posed be a starting point guard in the NBA, hands down. Never saw a point guard besides NBA pros that was pushing the ball like that and had it on the string and was just nice with it. Ayo brought his flair, his finesse, you know what I'm saying, that running crossover, you know what I'm saying? I had to steal that from him. Thank you, Ayo. He has caused more people to go to Philadelphia Public Hospitals than anybody else. That change of direction has broken more ankles than anybody I know. He out on the park, he threw it off somebody's head and the dude tried to come guard him, he threw it around him. What people don't realize, man, is this dude is a very, very serious basketball player who happens to play street basketball. Without the basketball, he's a clown, a straight up nut. That's why I love him, man, that's my man. I never really seen nobody actually like fall. And AO and I saw really made people fall playing D. They better had a family in the building because it's a wrap. We both brought something to the table, so me and him came in as a total package, you know what I'm saying, together, so we, me and him wrecked the world. When everyone start traveling, like, oh, this is gonna be huge. All the guys traveling to different states. You know, I kind of show guys we're doing all over the place. LA was sick, Flash was in Chicago. To see every time we would go someplace, the crowd growing and growing. I thought everybody else was catching on to what we had been living for many, many years. And that they were starting to appreciate what we had loved for many, many years. So I was happy to see the interest and the love that we were getting all around the country at the time. You know, the buzz was very big on, you know what I'm saying, L1 street ball, L1 basketball. It was hot. Everybody was watching them. Everybody, once they seen those tapes, volume one, two, three, and four, oh, most definitely it was catching fire around the country, you know. I knew it was gonna be something big, something nice. That was when I realized guys could be stars. Like, you had like girls screaming, thousands of people, like that was when it became real. Like, damn, like, dudes are celebrities off this Naptown, we about to put the M1 boys to sleep.
I'm the greatest. Hey. I float like a butterfly and steam. I'm the greatest. Hey. I float like a butterfly and steam. I'm the greatest. Hey. I float like a butterfly and steam. I'm the Tape had introduced Skip. It, it, the buzz was getting around. It gave everybody a chance to watch this tape. And when they found out, it was it was a tour that was gonna be outside, and they had a chance to see Skip live and direct. It was a sellout crowd, each city. When he came back and played in um, Volume Five, he had been playing D1 and, and Pro, and it seemed like nobody could really stick him out there. And he was kind of just dominating and showing why he was the originator of it all. He was a man at that point, Volume Five. You know, he had. He had went through the pro workouts. He had, you know, played against the best competition in the world. So now he had all the same street stuff, but then he had like an air of legitimacy that, you know, couldn't be denied at that point. So, you know, the whole puzzle came together. Then. He constantly worked on his game. One thing I liked about Skip, he was never content on what he was doing. He always tried to get better. I was happy to see him come back and return to his roots. You know, he still had that flash and that player to his game. So I, I, I didn't really see a difference. It was the same skip, he still did his thing, you know, he just, he just grew up. You know what I'm saying, everybody was excited when he came out. I mean, every time he touched the ball, everybody stood up. I asked him, he said he sees the move two or three plays before it even happens. When a guy's playing like that, you just never know quite what you're really going to see. I just sat back and watched him, you know what I'm saying?
Volume 6 was a crazy tape. Ali Moe, I never saw a 6 8 guy handle the ball so well and so smooth like that. Everybody knew Skip was, so now it's like, damn, who this other guy? You know what I'm saying? You see this tall, skinny dude, you know what I'm saying, handle the ball. He's just so long and wiry, man, and just agile, but at the same time, crispy with the ball handling. I think Al invented the head wrap. When he threw it around the guy's head and off the glass, like, Al was the first dude I saw do that. He wrapped the dude around and brought it back around his back, and the guy was just, just turned around like, where was the ball at? Yeah, throw it like this and drop it. Then the defender turn around and he'll get the ball, go the opposite way. Saying a guy that's 6'7", six, 6'8", six, you know what I'm saying, handling a ball like a god, you know what I'm saying, was, was you know, it was kind of, kind of amazing to me. This is where I came involved. Riverbank, New York, 02, 01, whatever that was. The night before, we was in front of Skip House and Skip was working on stuff, like literally in the street in front of his house, working on stuff. And he was like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And he was like, yo, S, if you throw it off somebody's head as big as you are, they'll go crazy. So Skip actually spent 20 minutes in the driveway, like, yo, you gotta put a guy to sleep with the dribble. And when he looked down, bam, off the head. This was like the first ISO of the game. And I got 50 on me, and 50, you know, 50 my man, I love 50 to death. But you know, 50 goofy, like, 50 didn't know me. He wasn't from New York, so he looking at me like, why is this fat dude dribbling the ball? Like, 50 didn't know me. So I realized 50 going for everything. Like, I could just do anything to him. When he leans in to try and steal it from me, I throw it up his head. Perfect. He swings for it, you know, it come right back. Went down the middle and high octane, one of the, you know, great jumpers. He was too far in, I was too big. Bam, here we go, you know what I'm saying? So that's one of the best plays I ever made. Shout out to 50, you know, you've been taking care of my family for a lot of years off that move, man. It was the start of a new movement. I mean, you had street basketball going from city to city, taking on people's best. People's names on the bus and face and stuff like that. At that time, I knew that, you know what I'm saying? It's not one thing, it, it blew up. I was like, man, this is getting huge, you know what I'm saying? I mean, people starting to recognize the whole team everywhere we go. So I'm like, this, it got to be huge. Thousands of people and everybody, they building up the seats and stuff outside. You know, I knew it was only a matter of time for the, you know, to probably go, you know, NBA arenas or, or something like that. I knew it was only a matter of time for that. Hey, hey, this your boy Lil Scrap. Hey, Tom.
be no prisoners. Jack. Hey, it's time to do it real big right now. We got the big grills out here, you know what I'm saying? You know what time it is. We're finna make the world body rock to this one. It's your boy, PKT. Wow, wow, baby. We're about to get into it. We're live at the party. It's getting ready to go down. Bowling, baby, I got a whip game. This off the chain, go grab your camera. My candy gloss just can't be touched. I call it MC Hammer. I'm quite like Santa when you see me riding on this sleigh. I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. Lay back with my boy to wait. Where's it doing the ass tray? Switch the swoops and chronic hate. Brandy wine sprayed over the gray. They compliment this ice tray. Riding on the kid lay. Suicide goes on the Lincoln. I don't know what these boys thinking. I'm mirror blinking in the oil drinking. Bras bopping cause I'm the man. Johnny watch with diamond. Band. Get money, yeah, that's the plan. My driveway look like Candyland. Pouring cars off in the garage, make a statement. I'm in charge. Diamond ice with no flaws. Invisible sector of the jaws. I got T. Ferris with me. Do you really be? Jamming on some little Kiki. Turning heads on South Lee. From the West back to the three. It's Power Wow, baby, yeah, that's me. Slow mo, walk through the speakers. I'm laid back. KT. Looking clean when I pull up on the same tank full of codeine, call it on a little switch. I'm a little rich, trying to a little witch, riding on the broom, gripping wood. I'm a little bitch, see a little miss, blowing little kids, looking like a little kid. Come to me, throw a little on the stitch. I ain't new to this, they be like, who is this? Thinking it's stupid, this when they see elbows. Think they doing it till I come ruin it. Candy blue, like, and my doors look like Lambos. And when hand goes up out right of the roof, the deuce is jumped in the wind. They feeling my bang and loving the rim. I'm swinging the park and like one more game. Then proceed to drive with the speed that's opposite of me racing. If you ain't know that means to slow, just like the music we banging. It's PKT, my trip is the issue. See and drop a day. You feel like I do it. Got low to school and hold your hands up. Show me your edges. Y'all think they just do tricks. They weren't doing tricks just then. They were really balling. You know what I'm saying? And machine blew them out the gym. He tore them up out there. And we are, baby. Let's go, baby. Volume 7 and 8, they playing in NBA arenas, and I one then, then, then took off. Never did I think I would play in NBA arenas. I never thought I'd play Madison Square Garden. I never thought I'd play in the Rose Garden in Portland. You no, know, I couldn't wait to go to some of these courts. Like, I couldn't wait to go to where the Celtics play at, where the Bulls play at, you know what I'm saying? We was feeling what the NBA players was feeling. I went to NBA locker rooms and, you know what I'm saying, NBA trainers and stuff like that. You know, you kind of get that feeling like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, I'm here. It made the stars all over. People now asking for your autographs in your own neighborhood. And wherever you go, you seem to get into clubs a little easier. A lot of telephone numbers, if you know what I mean, is getting passed to you. You know what I mean. Volume seven and um, eight was basically bringing up the new cats, all the, you know what I'm saying, the young gunners or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Fessa came on with his dumb and dumb hairstyle or whatever. That aerodynamic jerry curl flat top. I don't know what you would call that. To me, volume seven is the best tape, but I'm definitely biased. It documented my whole road to making the team. My favorite moment is when the professor hit the game winning shot at Madison Square Garden from about 35 feet. I was just so excited when the mixtape came out and I was actually on the artwork. You know, I wasn't on the cover, but I was at least on the back. Big up the Fest, now Fest the man right now. Can't tell him nothing, because he is the man. Helicopter went off in the garden. He went off damn near every game. I know when I first seen him, he was like a dude. I was like, God damn, can't nobody in the world jump higher than this guy. I'm watching these people, and I'm watching this. This tape grow for six, seven years, and all of a sudden now, I'm a part of this. I'm a part of something that I watched grow over the years. I'm doing what a lot of people would love to do. I was on the opposing team. I was just coming out to have fun, to play ball. You know, by the blessings of some of the guys on the N1 team at that time, joined the team after six games and went on tour with N1 for the rest of the summer, and I've been, been here since then. My first volume, I was all about business. I was just trying to get in, get my name out there, get my city on the map. 
and go back home. And it just went further than that. Shaq is a beast. All he knows how to do is play and play hard. And I think he's one of the most dominating force in street basketball right now. That was a beautiful thing to, to see and one go from outside to indoors. But I always, in the, in the back of my mind, I just I just sensed something was missing. You know, I just thought that, you know, the hardest street ball was played outside. We turned this craft upside down, you know what I'm saying? Coming from the streets to the arena, you know what I'm saying? Now, now we finna bring that thing back to the streets. I ain't scared of nobody nowhere. I thought, you know, the, the footage from the crash of courts, you know, on volumes seven and eight were probably some of the hottest stuff. Everybody knows you, you get to a playground and, you know, all of a sudden it was 20 people out there watching games. People know you there, the whole neighborhood shows up. You have guys all around the country saying, are you serious? I can't wait to play against that guy. Particularly when you see guys on television and, and the lifestyles that go with it, you're gonna be like, man, I'd like to be a part of that. And the way I could be a part of that is if we beat them and beat them bad. There's that animosity when we're going into these neighborhoods and guys want to match up. Don't come to our park that y'all can beat us. Get hell for life! But at the end of the day, we still become victorious, and that's what we do. I did it for and one, but also for personal gain, so people know that I'm not just a circus clown or I was just found overnight or I'm sat in the mirror and just looked in the mirror and just named myself. All my respect was earned and it was given. There's no type of way, you know what I'm saying, that should even pass a guy's mind that, like, you know, we not legit dudes, you know what I'm saying? And then once we go to there to the crash, the court, or whatever the case be, and tear the ass up, you know what I'm saying, they say it for themselves. Inglewood, California, I right, hey. All these dudes that's playing tonight is, is, is people that I'm familiar with, fam, bam, that I know that can bring the game. Because when I leave here, I don't want them to call me and say, man, y'all played against some bums. Y'all didn't have none of the real LA dudes out there. So I made sure this time that I went and found the real LA dudes tonight. So when we crack them tonight, it's real, it's official. Fuck, go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick some more ass. This my man's game, multiple jumpers. We just gotta get him a uniform. We're gonna go out here, have fun, bring back home a W, and go to the next city. Live via satellite from hands up, half the fight. Los Angeles, the got large appetite. After I was hot, hold Hollywood life. Keep the coat for the white nose, we know what they like. It's been years and we know what ain't right. To let the grandma and the glitz keep us tied up, both in the hype. Kathleen keep pitting the pipe, using a sharp knife to cut through the struggle. It's no hustle in sight. Thirteen and the little homie doing what the pimps do. Sweet talking girls walking home, we tell them rents do. Game sugar daddy's just to see a little nipple. Playing in the mental. Just to play in the middle, man, I'm saying Before love, you learn to love So why not hit the floor and cut So come on, baby, take one step Closer to me, trust I'll take two Closer to you, and in the end we'll take One step Closer to God, that be the reason why we got this far One step Closer to me, trust I'll take two Closer to you, and in the end we'll take One step Closer to God, that be the reason why we got this far Get dumb, get dumb, get dumb, dumb as a Mallory cheating till you're bleeding in the street. What a tragedy leak if we're speaking nonsense on the mic. Oh, so the battery, thinking that you're killing on anyone in the faculty. Tron Don Mitchie Slick, exhibit and feel the agony. Help me carry the weight till we shed it like a calorie. We all shoulder the burden of bringing it back to reality. Before we all hold it in the wind, you can't That'll be what? That'll be a travesty, a catastrophe. The loyalty, give me your majesty. Glad to be in my presence. Your imitation of my essence, well, it flatters me, frankly. But y'all niggas need to thank me if you're asking me how our rap will be actually captured in time capsules because of how a bus and the issues that attack will be harder. So we'll run through every part of your anatomy. I took one step to God. Philistine prophecy, me and the one got the block locked on Monopoly properly. Amateur flows and try stopping me. You only lead to a professional victory. Agony, it had to be the strong arm steady with me. My backwoods a fresh pack, I got the green sticky, icky. Plus, I'm picky with the word play, my bird say, bless you with the gift like your birthday. Yeah, this is the best and the worst way to balance your equilibrium and talents. 
stop all the violence. We still the challenge just to fight. You call it whatever you want to call it. It's call of the night, right? Sunlight beaming through the stained glass, reflecting off the church shoes, giving you the good news, smiling and good shoes. It takes one step closer to where you're supposed to be. It ain't difficult. Over to the bad one. Back to the inside. It's all we got now. I told you. I brought this. Yeah, help. Volume 9 was the best volume ever. I thought Volume 9 was, was cool because, you know, it went in everybody's hood and showed where everybody was from and it came to Oregon and it kind of showed where I played and, you know, I had like my own section on there. For us to be the first feature of the West Coast, me and Assassin, you know, that, that'll go down as one of the highlights of my career. You know, I'm from L.A., you know, and, and showcasing L.A. for the first time, you know, really putting us on the map and giving us our chance to shine. We just overall play hoopers, you know, we do it all. We get buckets, we can school you, we can break your ankles, we can high fly dunk on you anytime. You know, it's a different flavor, but when we bring it together, it's a beautiful thing. It was like my really coming out, you know what I'm saying, after me being signed or whatever, uh, you know, a lot of people were telling me like, you know, like, me and Shaq was like, you know what I'm saying, like the favorite part of the team. His name says it all, man. He can give you 40 points and not break a sweat at all. It was big for me, you know, it kind of let me know like, you know what I'm saying, I arrived, man. We're live from the BF Coliseum. Baby, phone, south. It was different for the N1 team, you know, playing at Berry Farms because, you know, we had played in like 30 arenas every summer, all indoors. Guys hadn't played really outside like that since probably 02 or like a couple crash of courts here and there. It was hot in the, in the sense where everybody got to see you and see all the exposure. But at the same time, you know, we started losing our credibility. We started losing our sense of where, where we came from, that griminess, that hungriness. With us, it's like you took a, a wild animal and put it on display in the zoo for a couple years. like. Oh, this is nice. Go pet the go pet the, the gorillas and everything. Oh, this is nice. But you got to unleash us. You got to put us back in the jungle at some point. To take us out there as a team and try to score up against another, you know, street ball all-star team, you know, it was crazy. Guys out there, you know, it's middle of the hood, and they gonna let you know what it is, man. Ain't no cutting no corners or nothing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go and you gotta lay it down. If you don't go and you lay it down, they gonna let you know, man. Twelve people who are rooting for you as your teammates. Probably the first time I played street ball in like a hostile environment like that. It was trash talking. Trash talking. You know, Miles, you know, being on the mic, legendary MC coming out of, you know, DC or whatever. I'm gonna show you how I do it my way. I'm like Frank Sinatra. You hear him and he get the crowd into it and then the crowd on you, so now you gotta play harder so to shut him and the crowd up. He's just one of the funniest people I've ever heard. I'll never forget on one of the tapes, he told somebody he had ashy dress socks. It was tough because my, you know, my matchup was with Kurt Smith, and he's like a legend in D.C. You know, I knew from when he scored the 63 points on Steve Francis, so I knew when he said he was playing, it was, it was, you know, be real, real serious. That game was crazy, man. Back and forth for a little while, then they got, you know, a quick lead on us and ran with it. They won, fan square, great game. That's the first time when you was like, when the world was like, that, you know, D.C. It's crazy out here, like their basketball, their street life, like don't get it twisted. That's what I'm I'm loving getting back to that, you know, where it's us versus the top dudes, no matter who it is. It don't matter who you are. We'll come to play, win, lose, or draw. This is what it is. Dunk it, Professor. My God, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
Cause hate gets me inside ain't shit strong I'm gonna get so cause it's dead And the words be so cause it's fucking I'm gonna get dirty This was his coming out party. If y'all didn't know, now y'all know. And one mixtape, volume 10. Nice. <laughs> that you smile. That's good. Yeah, but that's, that ain't serious. That's it, we've been bringing it to years again. We've been bringing it, what? Okay, we've been bringing it for years. We've been bringing it for years. Oh no. You know I mess with snakes. You ain't watch the DVD? You ain't watch the DVD, I don't mess with snakes. You need to watch the DVD. Ten tapes! We made it! You said that. I ain't gonna say we made it, baby. We made it, baby. <laughs> we made it, baby. And we mixtape volume 10. We made it, baby. Toodaloo! Huh? As far as other opportunities, commercials, video games, movies. I stay in LA now, I'm doing a couple movies, so. You know, things are good. Things are good. It's hectic, though.
no mames. We'll talk about it more though. Uh, so we'll talk about it more. I'm a little like delirious right now. <laughs> We're back. Uh, they're back. <laughs> LA. Put that one away. LA. Oh, f it up. <laughs> And I don't know if I had to do this already. Hold on. LA. LA, there we go. LA. <laughs> Alright, now just say your name in the camera. Oh, how can we all you can't dance. I don't know why we messing with you. Hi guys. We're taking it back to the streets, man. We're taking it back to the old school. This is the whoop tag team. <laughs> Like I'm gonna rap for you. <laughs> now say volume 10. Volume 10. <laughs> volume 10. You don't wanna be a star? Should take me when I was 16. I'm 21. <laughs> I'm 21. Have a good day. Tell me where we're at right now. Inglewood, California, IA. <laughs> neighbors, you see it? Neighbors. That's family right there. <laughs> I found them right there, getting their tennis on. You ain't never seen a bunch of black tennis players before, huh? Grown men, huh? Grown men, black tennis players. We've been bringing it for years. Say that one again. We've been bringing it for dog years. Say it again. We've been bringing it for years. Dog years, that is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the playground. Nah, say that. Let me start over. Let me start over. Crowd teaser. Ooh, I'm tripping. Crowd teaser, girl teaser. Crowd teaser and girl teaser. Let me see. Did I just say that shit all <laughs> The streets is watching. Oh, I did. I messed up. You ready? The streets is watching, baby. They watching. 